Hey guys, welcome back. It's John from Creative Tap. Um, in this tutorial, we're going to be making this uh, audio visualizer. Um, so I've used a track from bensounds.com, some good royalty-free music there. I use it quite a lot. Um, so this is what we're going to be creating. This animation that has reaction to audio, so it's audio reaction. It is. Um, you can see mine is a little, little sort of harsh edges round, round there. Um, that's just because I did a really quick, low quality render. So yours won't have that. It'll be nice and smooth. Um, so yeah, let's jump on in and start creating this. So let's go new composition, or just come up to composition and go new composition. Um, let's call it audio visualizer. Um, Nineteen twenty, ten eighty probably want to make this about three minutes or I'm gonna make it four minutes 24 because I don't know how long the song is I think it's around three minutes but I'll just go for okay and first thing I want to do is layer new solid let's get a background in this let's call it BG I'm gonna go for a very very dark dark red I mean it looks basically black but if I click okay and okay oh, oh, okay um, you can see there's a little bit of a sort of red hint to there so what I want to do next is import my sound so I'm going to drag mine in, so I've got a second screen here. I'm just going to drag it in by here, or you can go to File and Import, and then import it from wherever you want to import it from. So let's drag my sound down, and if I just click Play, and oh, it's not playing back. Ah, that's because I got the um, microphone in. Anyway, the sound is there, and if you click down, you can see that we've got this waveform by here. Um, so if you zoom in, you can kind of see all this waveform. Excellent. So, um, what I want to do now is just keep the sound down there. I'm going to lock both of these layers. I'm going to make a new solid and let's call this BG bars. Okay. Um, come over to effects and presets. Let's go type in audio and it's audio spectrum. Okay. Click this and click and drag this onto the new solid. Don't have to worry about the color because um, the color is coming from the background. So what we've got is audio spectrum. So what we want to start doing, audio layers. Um, you want to go and select your actual audio layer. So now as we move along, you can see that this is actually reacting, okay? And I'm not playing you my sound, but um, just because it's easier not to, it's less distracting. Um, you can see what it's gonna be doing. Now, what I'm gonna do first and foremost is start playing around with some of these settings, okay? So frequency bands I'm going to turn this up and you can see as you turn it up there's more of these lines in there so I'm going to put this to about maybe 150 um, these source points as well start and end point if I click and drag holding shift to keep it a straight line I just want to have it going across the whole screen excellent now your end frequency if you push this down you can see basically it kind of squeezes it if you push it down really low it kind of squeezes it all into kind of this area and if you have it really really high it, it's it's sort of more um, distinct if you, if you can look so if I play it now um, you'll see what happens is there's little bits everywhere but if you have it really low then <clears throat> basically it'll kind of be sort of more fluid and that's the kind of thing that I want to go for when I do mine so let's further modify this I'm gonna bring my end frequency down to about I think somewhere around 800 yeah I think that's gonna kind of look nice I'm just gonna turn my resolution down to a quarter um, just because it's easier then where it comes to side options I'm gonna go side a so we've only got the top so that's just the look I'm going for thickness I'm gonna go to four you can just play around and go for whatever kind of looks best really um, then with the colour, I'm going to actually set them to both white, and we'll add the colour later. So colour, both white, okay. Um, let's have a look. Anything else? Maximum height, you can increase this if you want. I'm going to put mine to about, yeah, let's go 650. Um, it really depends what kind of look you're going for, and you can scrub through and kind of see what you're getting. And I like that. You've got a little bit over here, a little bit over here. It's quite nice. Um, I'm going to close this down now, because we're kind of more or less done with that. And what am I going to go for? I'm going to go for gradient. Um, no, sorry, I need to type in ramp, don't I? Gradient ramp, there you go. I'm going to click and drag this onto the same layer. Um, and I'm going to go select a light red 
and then a very dark red okay just so we've got some sort of different kind of colors going on so if I get the start of my ramp and click here and then the end of my ramp and click over here you can kind of see as I move these points you can kind of see how it's affecting this okay so I'm just gonna go for something like this so over here it's just a little bit lighter okay just to get some kind of variation in there excellent um, next I'm gonna add a glow so type in glow pull this on and you can play play around with this if you want um, get different looks so I think my glow intensity I'll take to two and threshold may push up to around down to around 50 something like that and I'm not, I'm not going to stylize this one too much. I want this one to be kind of quite nice. Now if I turn it back to full, it's a lot better quality. And what I may do actually is go into audio spectrum. And for mine, I'm going to turn the thickness back down to three. Um, yeah, that's looking nicer. Okay. So um, that's kind of what we've got going for this one. Um, I'm going to turn mine back down to a third by here. Um, I'm going to duplicate this now. So control or command D. And it's basically the exact same thing in here. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to come to the scale, unlink these, come to the second value by here, and just put a minus in front of that 100. And what it does is it flips it. Um, but what we want to do when we flip it is come to the opacity, turn this down by, turn this down to about 30. Um, just, it's almost like a little reflection. And I'm going to put a blur on this. So if I come to... Um, where's Gaussian Blur? There we go. I come to Gaussian Blur and I put that on. I'm going to maybe put a value of 5. I uh, may have to go to full resolution just to see this. Maybe let's go 15. Let's see how that's doing. Yeah, something like that. Yeah. So it's got a little kind of reflection. So let's pull this back down just so I don't crash on you. So it's, it's quite nice. We've got that done. What we want to do next is go layer, new solid and we're going to make the circle now um, and we'll just call this circle bars okay and click ok don't worry about the color either all we're going to do then is go to the ellipse tool start in the middle so make sure your crosshairs in the middle hold control and shift as you draw out so we've got a uniform circle um, and round about there I think yeah there cool um, I'm going to set this mask to none so it's not actually doing anything. And then I'm going to go back, type in audio, and drag audio spectrum onto this. And what I'll do from here is, again, select Ben sound. Uh, and you can see we've got these little purple ones. If I turn these two off, we've got the same thing again. But what you can do is you can map it to a path. So if I select mask one, it's now gonna go around the outside of the mask. Now, if you wanna get rid of this orange line, just click by here. Um, so that's what it's doing, okay? So let's turn the background back on and you can see this is behind. So I want to do a very similar thing as I did before. I'm going to increase my frequency, decrease, sorry, my frequency down to about 500, I think. I should do um, frequency bands. Now I'm going to chuck this all the way up, okay? Something along the lines of this. So what it will end up doing if I turn it back to full, you'll see we've got something that's quite smooth. And I think my frequency I'll bring down to about 350. Okay, so again, I'm gonna turn my resolution down. As you pull through, it kind of updates like that along with the music. Okay, now there is some big peaks in there because it's using the volume. Um, so I may bring my height down just a little bit. So maximum height, maybe 250. Or well, let's go 300. Okay, so same again as we did before. Turn the color to white. You can play around with yours a lot more, get different looks, but um, I'm gonna go for that. Where you see these sort of lines of banding, that's just because I've turned this down, okay? Um, my resolution. So, we've got the audio, I think we've done everything there. What we are gonna do actually is turn this to side B, so it's just the outside. Looks a little bit nicer in my view. Um, then we're gonna get, uh, if we type in gradient, I'm gonna go for four color gradient. So we've got four different colors. And you can see what it's doing. I'm going to go for a light red, then a slightly darker red, um, a very dark red. Okay. 
and then down here maybe another sort of mid royal sort of red, I don't know if royal red's a colour, but you can see what this is doing, so as I move these closer you can see it's kind of modifying the colour, so again back to third, it's quite nice, um, so let's go third, okay next is the glow, so this time let's add a glow, and let's, let's pop in more now, so I think I'll take this down to about 50, uh, glow intensity to 2, and maybe the glow radius out a little bit, like so. There you go. So we'll have something that's going to look quite nice. Okay. So next, what we want to do is we want to duplicate this because we want to have um, a sort of blur coming out. So if you remember back to my version, if I open it up by here, um, what we've got going on with mine is this further, further outer glow. Okay. And we're going to do this with a radial blur. It just gives it more kind of character. Okay, so um, if I duplicate, so Control D, duplicate this circle bars, Control D or Command D if you're on a Mac. Um, what I'm going to do then is the exact same thing, um, but I'm just going to add with this one a radial blur. So drag this on, and let's let's actually single this out. So I'm going to solo this layer. And then you can see if I turn this, what I want to do actually is turn the type to zoom. And we're just going to turn it down to something like that. Okay, and you, you can play around with the glow. But now if I turn it off and put it below and turn it up a bit, you can see kind of what's going on. And you can also turn the anti-alias in to high and you'll get a lot better. Um, if I turn it to full as well, you'll get a lot better result. Okay. Um, so back to third and maybe turn this down to about 35 I think just so yeah um, what you can also do on this one is to go into audio spectrum and turn the height up and that'll also make it so it's a lot kind of bigger but that's too much so um, maximum height I'll go to maybe just 350 just to give it a little bit more there you go <clears throat> okay cool so the next thing is um, we've got a little problem. It's it's the glow is coming in the inside, and I don't want it to do that. So what I'm going to do is layer new solid, click OK, and I'm going to get my ellipse tool. Start in the middle again. Do a very similar thing. Hold Control and Shift or Command and Shift, and come out just so this mask goes just by there, as if it as if it's going to cover it up. But what we're going to do is use a mat for it. Okay. So, um, once we've done that, is this top circle bars, let's rename it because we know this is the glow. Circle bars, glow. Okay, if we go alpha, matte, and t -t 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 -t, alpha, matte, inverted, it's going to use this by here as an alpha, matte, so it won't show. Oh, hold on. Right there. Ah, the glow was the one on the bottom. So, let's rename this back to circle bars, put this glow on top, get rid of that, now turn this to alpha inverted matte and you'll see it gets rid of the glow in the centre, okay, um, yeah so that's all kind of working, excellent, um, next thing we want to do is this matte that we're using, so remember we drew the mask on here, we want to use this to get rid of the um, bars in the centre, so if I control D, bring this down to above What's, what's this one? Background bars. So that's that one. What we want to do is change this alpha inverted matte. So it's getting rid of that one. And now we want to do the same for this little reflection because this is the one along the bottom. So same again. Control D. Put this above. And I'll just rename this so you know what's going on. BG bars reflection. Okay. And then with this one, go to alpha inverted matte. So what we've got then is this nice little animation going on, and it's, it's not going on in the middle. Okay, I think the only thing left to do now, if I get my example open, is yeah, to put artist track and the line in the middle. Okay, so let's do that very quickly. I'm going to get a text layer, go with whatever text you want. So artist, I don't know what artist you want to put in there. Um, Eras, Demi, I think I'm going to go for light. There you go. Um, what you can also do is align it to the center horizontally. 
and I'm going to scale my text up a little bit and I'll just realign it now okay um, I'm gonna move it down a touch holding shift so it sticks to the x-axis then what I'm gonna do is just duplicate so command or control D the artist layer drag it down and then in this one I'm going to replace it with the word track okay so the track will go there finally I'm going to get my um, pen tool make sure no layers are selected get the pen tool click and then shift click to here so we've got a straight line hit enter and then what I'm going to do after that is change the fill to none and then change the stroke to a solid color so we'll go for a white line which is gonna be about five pixels and why isn't that showing maybe if I go to full let it preview in um, shape uh, uh, turn st my stroke wasn't turned on for some reason so there you go now it's a bit too big so five and there you go so um, that was hopefully not too long um, I'm not going to try and put play mine back because it's it's probably going to be quite slow but if I do it on quarter maybe well yeah you can see that's what we've got going on so um, was quite quick but play around with the height play around with the look of it in the audio spectrum um, thing but we'll have other um, audio tuto audio reaction tutorials coming up in the next few days so give us a day or two and then check the description down below follow us on Facebook Instagram give us a like if this helped also comment down below if you've got any questions or if you want to see other stuff in the future so cheers for tuning in and I will catch you again